Hello everybody! Today I'm going to be showing you three different looks that I used using the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette and lots of girls on so well. Let us just feast our eyes on this beauty. And yes, it does entirely smell like chocolate and it is beautiful! So this first look is going to be what I'm calling the kind of everyday smoky glam look. It's just an easy, quick, little smoky eye to throw on. We're starting with coconut cream all over the lid and then going in with the shade Peanut Butter in the crease. Now the one thing I found about these uh, shadows is that they're a little bit hard to blend in. They were quite chalky, like the darker colors were chalky, but this one was fine. Okay, now we're going in with Truffle, and we're just going to use this to kind of deepen up the crease. We're not going above the crease with this, we're putting it on in the crease, kind of like a distinct line, and then we're just buffing it out later. Hold on, right here, there we go. We're going to buff that out with a fluffy blending brush. And that will just create more depth and shadow in the crease. Then we're going in with the shade Bon Bon and just packing this on all over the lid. It's a really pretty pink kind of golden shade and it brings a lot of light to the eyes. And then we're going to take the same blending brush we used to add the shade Truffled and just add more Truffled in the outer corner of the eye. And this will just deepen it and yeah, it's great. Then we're going with the shade Butter Pecan and I'm just dabbing this on the middle of the eyelid a little bit to add more light to the eye and then also using this as a highlight on the brow bone and then the inner corners of the eyes and it just makes you sparkle yeah no then we are going back in with the peanut butter shade and using this to go along the lash line and this will just you know make it complete and bring it all together and then we're gonna finish off this really simple look with mascara here I am using the Tarte Gifted Mascara sorry at this point it's dead and I don't have an up close shot of it sorry <laughs> and then for this look I'm using the Clarence Instant Light Natural Lip Perfector in the shade of zero Two, I think it's 01, maybe 01, 02, whatever the peach color is. And it's just a really nice, pretty, light, peachy lip gloss, and it's beautiful. And then that completes this look, everybody. So this is the kind of everyday smoky glam. A little bit of light, a little bit of prettiness, you know. So I have titled this next look the I have five minutes to get ready look help and once again we're starting with the shade coconut cream. This is not necessary. I just like the look it gives because it blocks out all of the redness and veinage and all the gross stuff. So then we are taking the shade mousse and just using this to add a little bit of definition to the crease with a really big fluffy brush. I like doing this because it kind of just makes you look put together even if you aren't necessarily put together and if you're running out of time. I just think it looks really nice and this looks really good with an eyeliner so that's kind of what we're going to fake here. We're taking the shade Pink Sugar with our finger and just dotting this all over the lid. This one is a very dusty fallouty color so be careful but it's really pretty. It has a really nice glowy effect. Then I'm going to take the shade Hot Fudge with an eyeliner brush and use this to create a faux eyeliner. Using a shadow to create an eyeliner will still define the eyes and make the lash line look a bit thicker, but it won't be too intense like an eyeliner sometimes can be, and this leaves a lot of room for fault, so it's really nice and quick to do when you are in a rush. Then I'm going to use the shade, the same dust shade and use this to highlight the inner corners and finish off again with mascara. As you can see here, I did really light coats of mascara just to show that you can do a full eye look when you're in a hurry. So then to add some brightness and color to the face, I'm using the Bobbi Brown Apricot Blush. I have been loving this lately and the Clarins Instant National Light Lip Perfector in the shade 01. I believe it is rose and I think that this lip gloss and blush go together so beautifully and I love the look of it. And that is the finished look. It's kind of the easy five minute fresh face look. I did already do the foundation on it. This is just kind of the eye looks and what I'd be pairing with it. And that is that look. It's super super easy and quick to accomplish and it's good for all y'all gals who always run late in the morning aka me. <laughs> For the third look, this is the intense, dramatic, all-out eye look, and once again, starting with the shade Coconut Cream. Then I am going in and mixing the shade Mousse and Peanut Butter together for the crease, and this is just a mixture of a cool and warm crease shade. I just like the combination of the two, and buffing that all in. Then again, deepening up that crease with the shade Truffled, and really packing this on. This one was a struggle, people. Look at how patchy it goes on. It was really hard to blend this shade out. But, you know, we prevailed and kept on buffing and got there eventually, so just keep on adding it in, keep buffing, your eyes will start to bleed. I'm <laughs> just kidding, but seriously, I had to buff this out forever and, uh, yeah, eventually we got there. Then we are going in with the star of the show, the shade of Blueberry Swirl. This, again, was not very pigmented. I was kind of disappointed with it, actually, but... 
again we just kept packing it on and packing it on doing layers and layers which I showed you extensively here how many times I actually had to pack this shadow onto the eyelid but in the end the color turned out very beautifully and I never thought that I would like a 60s blue eyeshadow on myself but I actually ended up really liking this look so there you have it then we're going in with the shade Mousse again and lining our entire lower lash line with this. This is a MAC brush. I don't know which one it is, but I will link it down below. And then to further deepen up the lower lash line as well, we're going to line half of it, the outer half with the shade Truffled, and that will just bring a lot more depth to it. For eyeliner, I am obviously taking my Kat Von D tattoo aligner and just making just a normal, not too, not anything crazy for the eyeliner. I'm just lining the lash line and then very difficultly making a flick because I was like holding the mirror with my arm extended and it was really hard for me to do this eyeliner. Like, can you see the struggle? Anyway, yeah, so just making a normal eyeliner. The flick isn't too long or anything. Do it as you will. And the eyeliner will just really bring this look together, I think. It just defines the lash line really nicely and kind of makes it all, I don't know, go together nicely. I can't speak. My vocabulary sucks. Forgive me. But anyway, eyeliner. Yay! <laughs> then I'm lining the upper and lower lash line with the NARS Via Veneto Black Eyeliner. And this will just kind of complete the eye look in terms of depth and deeperness and darkness and... Yes, and it really hurts my eyeballs when I do this. My eyes get really, really red. I struggle with this a lot, also. Uh. For lashes, we are taking the Ardell number 102 at Demi Lashes. These were also very difficult. The band on these lashes was really thick, and it was really hard to bend them into place, so I actually, like, it took me a long time. I did the other eye off camera because it was like, holy moly, I cannot get these lashes on. But I really like the finish effect that they had on the eye look, so YOLO, you know? And then taking the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, and I like to put this over top of my lashes because I feel like it locks them in and meshes it with your lashes. Do it as you will, though. Some people like to put mascara on before, you know, as you wear. Then to finish off the eye look, we are highlighting the shade Butter Pecan and putting this on our brow bone and the inner corners of the eyes. And after you're done highlighting, that is it for this very intense, dramatic eye look. So for the face, I wanted a really strong contour, so I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury Thin Star Bronze and Glow and using this to do a very, very intense packed on contour on the cheekbones because I feel like drama goes with contouring, you know, it just goes hand in hand. So I'm doing the cheekbones and then I'm also going to take it along the sides of my nose just to add symmetry to it and then I also go underneath my bottom lip to try and make it look more plump. I don't know if it actually works, but in my brain, I tell myself it does. <laughs> I also contour my jawbone, leaving myself looking very chiseled, you know? <laughs> and then for this look, I'm using the Tarte Exposed Blush. This is a little sample size I have, but you don't need more than this, honestly. There's so much blush in there. And just packing that on, it's a really nice neutral pink shade, and I think that you want to stick to neutral colors when you are doing a colorful, bold eye look like this. Going back into the Filmstar Bronze and glow we are using the highlighting shade and this is the brush by charlotte tilbury i love it for highlighting and just packing on a lot of highlight to make yourself glow you know tops of the cheekbones taking it the on the nose and the tops of the lip here i just use the remnant product i don't actually dip into more so it's not too crazy then i am taking the maybelline lip color in the shade nude lust this is such a beautiful lipstick and is my new favorite one from the drugstore i am so in love with it and i think it's the perfect nude shade for us pale folk so once the lip color is added that is the finished look for this dramatic version of the semi-sweet palette and that is it for all of my three looks using the semi-sweet palette let me know if you guys would like to do this same three look thing for any other palettes i really love filming them thank you so much for watching this video you guys and i will see you in my next one bye